Kenny, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to ask her right now. Mom, don't be silly. What will I'm we say? I'm going to ask Kenny. Miss Erin? What is it? Miss Erin, if you have a moment to talk, I'd like to ask you something. What is it, Alma? I'm in a hurry. Ask me whatever it is and fast. As you know, William has been missing for a few days. I know. Yesterday, Kenny overheard you having a conversation with Mr. Gerald. Apparently, you said something about everyone will find out what happened to William. <sighs> Hang on, are you spying on people? No, I accidentally overheard you as I was walking by. This is a difficult time for us, Miss Aaron. It has been difficult from the day his father went missing. William has been gone for days now. We are worried sick about him. Yes, we were talking about William. You heard right. Daddy, is Mommy back yet? Uh, no, darling, she's not back oh, yet. Oh, why not, Dad? I thought she was coming back today. That's what Alma said. I'll go and ask your Auntie Alma right now, but make sure you wait here for me, okay? There are a few things you don't know about. Things like what? Hey, listen, Aaron. William actually created a massive problem for Gerald. Don't you think his family has a right to know about it? Aaron, shut up. Miss Aaron, tell us, for the love of God, what happened to William? Just before William disappeared into thin air, he had an accident with Mr. Gerald's car. <gasps> what? He ran over someone, and the man is still in the hospital. My goodness! Was it very serious? Yes, his condition is quite bad. If he doesn't get better soon, it won't be good for William, as you can imagine. Shame on you, William, for doing After this. After the incident, William went to Mr. Gerald for help, and of course, Mr. Gerald helped him disappear, which I personally think was the wrong thing to do. He probably wasn't thinking straight at the time. You should have handed him over to the police yourself. Maybe, but he was very scared. He gave William money so he could escape, so he could disappear and stay out of the way for now. And we paid for the injured man's full medical treatment. I'm so embarrassed, sir. Gerald didn't want to tell you so you wouldn't feel embarrassed about all of this. But when William decided to cut contact with us completely... Why is that? I don't know, but your father is missing. We don't know where he is. This was the conversation you overheard us having about your dad. I told Gerald he didn't need to worry about this on top of everything else. I told him I would tell you both if he didn't do it. He wouldn't listen. We tried to help him, but he disappeared on us. I really don't know what else to tell you. I mean, if something happens to him, Gerald could possibly be charged with aiding and abetting. May God protect you, sir. Shame on you, William. Look at all the trouble you've caused us. Sir, if you were never to forgive us, I would completely understand. I'll let it go. As long as you don't upset me by going on about William anymore. Never again, sir. I won't even mention his name again. Hello, Sergeant Ertl, it's Mason. No, 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 it's not that at all, sir. Well, I'm calling because, uh, Mr. Gerald doesn't want me to work on the case anymore. <laughs> I've just been fired. Well, I'm not happy either, but nothing can be done. Anyway, please let me know if I can be of help in any way. I'll do whatever it takes. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. As God is my witness, I will avenge him. His name will be avenged. I swear it will. Aldo, where are you going? 
Aldo! What's I'm going the matter? To kill him. Aldo! You'll get yourself into trouble. Please don't! Open that door. Open Aldo. that door. Open don't it. go outside. Not right now. Aldo, you'll bring the whole neighborhood down so on us. Open the door, I'll break if it down. If that door was breakable, I wouldn't have brought you here. Aldo! Aldo, hang hey. on a minute! Aldo! Aldo! Aldo, stop it! Aldo, stop it! Stop it, Aldo! Bro, stop it! Let go of don't, me! Don't where are the keys? Stop! Tell Come me on. where they are! I need the keys! Give me the keys! Huh? Give me Aldo, the keys, Dad! Stop it, man! You let go of me! Okay! Come here! Now, give me the keys! Give me the keys! No, no, touch Aldo. me! Aldo! Don't do it, Aldo! Aldo! Give Aldo! Up. Stop it! Aldo, stop! Stop now! Aldo! Look at me! You couldn't give your brother a decent burial! At least avenge him properly. This is not the way to do it. Calm down. We're going to do this together. Together. He said he wouldn't. He promised. But I know him. He'll do it again. How else would he find all that money? Mom, please don't get upset over he this. He won't do it. If my dad swore he wouldn't, then he won't. I'm sure he was held up somewhere and he'll be back later. Please don't cry anymore. Susie, I'm back. Susie? <gasps> oh, damn you, you scared me stiff. Don't ever do that. <sighs> I said your name, but you didn't hear me. I was listening to them. You know the guy didn't come home last night. I'm sure they're back together. I know they're up to something, but what happened to you? Turn that off, will you? What's this? Please, Susie. Turn it off. Mason, tell me what has happened. I was fired. That's all. You fired him? Why'd you fire him out of the blue like that? Uh, it, it isn't out of the blue. We should have fired that man a long time ago. He's the one that ruined everything around here. I told you all along. I told you it was up to no good, but you didn't I listen. I was listening, but it was impossible to convince Layla to fire him. Anyway, he's gone. Did you ask for your money back? No, it never occurred to me. We should ask for it. We gave the man a lot of money. Get it back from him. Will he return it? It will hurt his pride, but he will. I, I don't want to have anything to do with him. We had a huge fight before he left the house today. You don't have to do anything. You tell Martin, and he'll fix it. What do you mean? Did we do all this for nothing? Huh? Is that it? We're doing nothing else for the boy? I have told you a thousand times already. Yes, that's it. Finished. Go home and rest. You've been here a few days. You must be exhausted. Go get some rest. And what will you do? The very same thing as you. Rest. Mason, please let me know if you need anything. Okay, I will. Keep in touch, okay? Say hi to everyone. <laughs>